How's it going, all y'all? Pete here. Just wondering what you're up to this weekend. If you're from the Mid-Atlantic area or within driving distance of D.C., I encourage you to uh, come on out and join myself and a bunch of other good folks uh, for the Lemonade and Raw Milk Freedom Day. On Friday, August 17th, there's a Know Your Rights training followed by dinner. If you're at all able, I encourage you to make this. They're asking for a suggested donation of 30 bucks. It looks pretty solid. Saturday, the 18th at noon on the uh, Mall of, in Washington, D.C., we're going to be engaging in bartering of uh, different foods and drinks. Last year, after seeing a lot of media reports about lemonade stands uh, being shut down because they, the uh, kids, the operators, didn't first acquire the proper permission from the so-called authorities, uh, Rob Fernandez, an awesome guy, uh, decided to uh, stand on his principle, and he started the first annual Lemonade Freedom Day. This year, the Lemonade Freedom Day is teamed up with the Raw Milk Freedom Riders. I'm sure a lot of y'all are familiar with this, but raw milk is heavily regulated. Uh, farmers have been raided, distribution sources have been raided, product uh, dumped out. Why do these people with badges believe they have the right to not only step onto the property of somebody else without the permission, but then to take their property, in this case raw milk, and then dispose of it, and in some cases fining, uh, which is you know the nice way of saying issuing a ransom to the property owners for creating or trading in this good. What right does any third party, whether that's myself or you or somebody who works at a place called the FDA, have to step in between that? I would say none. And despite what uh, one uh, gentleman employed in the law enforcement community stated at last year's Lemonade Freedom Day. Segregation has occurred in the 50s. Would you enforce that law? Unfortunately, I wouldn't be an officer back then at that time. If it was, I would enforce it, though. You would enforce it? Absolutely. If you would enforce the segregation law. I don't make the laws, I just enforce them, sir. The squad was not with the police, it's with the lawmakers. He is responsible for his actions. He is the actor that would uh, target lemonade providers. To think that uh, an individual is not responsible for their actions because someone else told them to do something or they're just doing their job is ludicrous. It's simply ludicrous. And, and take a step back and think about where that historically has left societies. Not in too good of a place when people unthinkingly act based on the orders or dictates of somebody else. So I encourage you to join me and lots of other good folks this Friday and Saturday in Washington, D.C. for the Lemonade and Raw Milk Freedom Day. And if you can't join us, host something in your area or support somebody who is. Thanks. Hail to the freedom! Woo! Woo! Thank you, Marjorie. Have a lovely afternoon. Thank you.